it's taken a while, but I managed to unpack this idea, this concept, this, this particular viewpoint. And it's one that I put away because there was nothing that could be done. And you know what? Right now, there's probably nothing that can be done. Every piece of information you have access to, you are allowed access to. I'm not just talking on the internet. You can talk to people about things, but wherever you got the thing from, unless it is something that you've seen yourself personally, you got it from somewhere else. And in getting it from somewhere else, the information is what is allowed to be out there because clearly, clearly they can control what is and is not out there. So even the so-called fringe conspiracy theories are what is allowed to be out there. And even some of the ones that make examples of might not even be 100% on the mark. They might just be, <clears throat> you know, popular enough to, to make an example out of. But it is what you are allowed access to. It's what they let you know, what they let you find. And yes, I've watched search engine algorithms change over the years. I've watched the advent of social media from whence there was none. And it's a thing that people have talked about for a long time. It's not even the point of this video. But it's a, it's a bare fact it's there. So when you go to look up something pre-internet, what you're going to find is transcriptions of articles that were printed. The articles that were printed were written by basically the same kind of people that are doing it today. Because of the searchability not being a factor, there were a lot of people that were able to say so relatively quietly in print and have it be out there. But if you were to go and find it now kind of thing, you would be limited to what you are able to find, what you are allowed access to. So whatever secret truth behind the scenes you think is going on could very well be something that somebody fed you which is why i don't take a lot of stock in those kind of things i haven't for a while in some cases there is an inherent narcissism afoot with people who claim to know the truth or have a secret in they want to be the one going oh yeah but And I remember how many people, different times during the course of, of a lot of the political turmoil that was far less dangerous than what we have now that was leading up, and in some ways more dangerous because it was some real, real mind control shit. And so there are some people who are kind of in a way narc baited into being truthers, either a desire or a demand to know or understand more, or it could be just, you know, inherently that they like to be the person with the insider's edge 
and so they seek out. Or they're going about their thing, not understanding, realizing, or knowing anything, and then someone else says, hey, psst, about something. And then they're like, wait, there's more? There's something else? And the deeper you dig, you either get directed toward some global oligarchy, conglomerate, or family. And clearly, they are people that seem to have parts that they play. Don't know if there is a storyteller, game runner, dungeon master type in charge of them or not. Or if they're simply so rich and powerful, and powerful is simply by virtue of being rich that they have enough money to just throw at anyone to get whatever they want. Now, by now you should be confused if you're not paying attention. If you are paying attention, you might already have an idea what is on my mind that I can't talk about because it's a dangerous idea. I personally, in my my uh, travels and my explorations, have begun to wonder if everything that is happening is something that simply happens to everyone all at the same time. If there's anything that any of us can do about it. So as an analogous question, I would ask if the neutrons and protons in the nucleus of an atom had an opinion, thoughts or experiences, is there anything that they could even do to affect whether or not the atom they belong to is ionized or whether radioactive decay takes place and one of them goes from being a neutron to a proton or vice versa and a photon is emitted. That makes me wonder. Because all this crap going on all these people that don't like it. The issue is not whether or not they're under control, but whether control is actually possible or if Initial manipulation can lead to chain reactions and consequences that were unforeseen, unpredictable and unpreventable, unstoppable even. And again, I have stated no claim. I have asked questions. I have made no assertions. (sighs) 
we don't understand enough about consciousness, I think, to really be able to approach the question of whether the things that we're all going through right now are number one, real, number two, alterable in any way, number three, doesn't matter. In closing, whatever it is that you're doing with your life right now, how you are reacting to the way things are going down when it comes to people who claim to have authority over us to rule, who make rules and laws that we are told we must follow where there are severe consequences, an entire system whose basis is in the consent of the governed and the equal application of law and justice. If those things are not present, then those people have no power. They may yet assert that they have power, but they have no power. There are ways of revoking the consent. And remember that anybody who insists that your consent is not a factor is in favor of things like that nasty R word that also involves your consent not mattering. It's the same kind of thing, but instead of with sex, it's with your right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And for my money, all my soul, anything that comes in the future will harm life, will imp impede liberty, and shatter dreams of pursuing happiness. Whatever you thought the world was about, you are probably in for a rude awakening very soon. Whatever you thought life was about, whatever you thought the day-to-day -day was adding up to, is thoroughly in jeopardy. We'll just put it that way. Not long before they start coming after people for their opinions. Not long before the new order is declared. Not long before they start rounding up other groups, too. Whatever you're doing with your life right now, from this point moving forward, right, I'll give you the chance to think on it. Whatever you do with your life at this point is what you would be doing in 1930s Germany. Think about that. Roll it around. You don't have to react or respond immediately. 
But the seed's planted, rest assured. It's planted in other people's minds as well. So even if you don't get it, even if you don't take it, someone will somewhere. One man said, this is ridiculous. He literally said, and I quote, we live in a fascist state, unquote. The other man said, if you disagree with this outcome, you are a danger to society. That's a quote. Everybody says, I don't understand how that kind of thing could have happened. How did those people let that happen? We are not in the practice run. This is it. And it's not a game. You can camouflage yourself and dissent. You can openly dissent. You can just shut the hell up and go with it, or you can believe what they're telling you. For my analysis on this, it simply comes to avoiding Gilman amnesia. We know what they're capable of. Therefore, when it comes time to just vote harder, yeah, go ahead and vote. I'm going to do that. Puts my name on a list for sure. But if they're going to do that here, you know they're going to do that here too. And I believe the expectation is that we will all fight amongst ourselves. But the important thing is that there are people behind that causing that and they are who we should be fighting but i'm not advocating violence at this time because that would be illegal and if you've done your history books that thing that happened in germany in the 1940s after the people in the 1930s just kept on about their business. That was legal too. Signed into law that this would be the final solution to a problem nobody seemed to realize they had until it was pointed out, whether it was real or not. Obviously they were lying. And if you can't see the, the resemblance to the current state of affairs, just understand it's only a matter of time until you step out of line on accident that you say the wrong thing on accident and they come for you and there's no one to say anything for you because all of us have already been taken care of 